Okay, today I'm going to go over a couple great searches to set up for investors in the MLS. A lot of times we just keep it real basic, uh, certain cities, price range, bedrooms, bathrooms, but there are some other great sources for investor properties that you might not think of and you'll miss these if you just set up a basic search. So first I'm logged in the MLS here. I'm gonna go into my portal that I've set up for myself because I'm also looking for deals. And this is all my contacts here. I'm gonna pull up mine. Searching by my last name, of course. There I am. And so I've got a whole bunch of auto emails set up that deliver houses to me on a daily basis. I'm gonna show you how to set up a search for estates. Uh, I think regardless of the area, a lot of times estates are good uh, opportunities to get deals on houses because a lot of times the people don't really want the house. And especially if you can come in with a cash offer, it's a great, a great opportunity to get a deal. Um, the other two searches I'm gonna show you today are short sales because again, I think this is an untapped market. A lot of investors don't really care how long they wait for a closing. So uh, these are opportunities that other people might not be looking at. And then I'm gonna show you how to set up a vacant and then a certain days on market or more search. Uh, so these are homes that are vacant and have been on the market for a long time. So these are three searches I have set up for myself. I'll show you how to do it. So we're gonna look at residential. This is for you know, opportunities on singles or, or, or condos if you want to include those. I'm looking only at uh, active or coming soon. Uh, so the first one we'll do is estates. This one's pretty simple. Um, we'll say we're looking in several different counties. Let's say Cuyahoga, Geauga, and the lake. And it's pretty simple. Uh, there really aren't usually that many estates. So uh, we go down to ownership. And this is where you can select, you know, for example, a lot of people use like bank and HUD, you know, so just show me all the bank and HUD listings in Cuyahoga and Geauga. And you can see there's 61 matches. Another way to do it is just to click estate. And in those three counties right now, there are 43 matches just for estates. Um, you can narrow it down more if you want, like if you know that um, your client doesn't want certain areas, you can say, okay, I don't want to be in, you know, on this east side of Cleveland or, 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 or maybe just east Cleveland. And then you say not. Um, Actually, that's the one, not the one I want. This one here, East Cleveland, not. It didn't go, go down at all, so that didn't eliminate any. Um, but you can narrow it down by any other criteria you want, you want. But essentially, right there, what you've done is you've just done a search for estates. You hit results. You do your save. New auto email. And then you either select an existing client. Like, there I am right there. I can select myself. And then always give good subject lines, states or Mike F. And then I usually don't include myself in the reverse uh, contacting or re reverse prospecting, depending on how many times a day you want these to go out, depending on how many there are, there was 43. So I wouldn't want this to go out ASAP. That's for sure. That means every time there's a change or a new listing, your client's going to get an email or you can set these up for yourself so that you get them. And you know, with our investor client, that's what we would do. You would set these up for yourself, take a look at them you know, daily. That's why I have mine set up in the morning. So every morning I get up and I have portal emails waiting for me. And then I just simply hit save and this will save this search to my portal. And then I've already gone through mine this morning, but in my inbox, uh, let's see. Just, if you have never set up a portal for yourself, you really should so that you can see uh, what they look like. But you can see in my portal here this morning, I already went through, here's my vacant 120 days or more on the market. There was one price reduction. So I went in here and looked at this 
And this is all of the vacant 120 day on the market houses. So I can go through this at any time, uh, but this was the newest one that had a price de decrease this morning. Okay, so anyway, I'm not gonna save, I'm not gonna save this search. I've already got one going for myself. I'll show you the other two searches now. All right, the next one was, what do we have? Vacant and then short sales. So let's do residential. We'll just look at active again. Let's just do Cuyahoga County. And again, it's pretty simple. You just go to short sale, yes or no. Let's only look at short sales in Cuyahoga County. There's only 26. So again, you can exclude any areas you know you or your client don't want. You know, let's just say again, let's pick on East Cleveland today. Not East Cleveland, didn't get rid of any, that's okay. Uh, do any other criteria you know that they want if they if they only want singles, not condos. Um, you know, if you need to narrow it down, you just use whatever you want. So if you know they only want two bedrooms or more or three bedrooms or more certain square footage, um, those are the typical ones. You know, maybe they don't want to mess with uh, septic and well. You know, you could eliminate those. You could say, well, or septic, not. Again, Cuyahoga County, we didn't eliminate any there, but that's okay. And you go to results, save, new auto email, select yourself or your client, give it a good title, short sales for Mike, and then go down here and save it. Again, I'm gonna cancel out of this. All right, the last one's a little more complicated, so I saved it for last. This is the vacant house search. Uh, we also add market time as a criteria. So again, we put in whatever criteria we want, Cuyahoga County, let's say, let's say it's single families, two bedrooms or more. And then we have to go down here to, and, and add a couple fields. And that's, you do that right here. So you, most of your pages will stop here. Additional fields, add, remove. That's what you're looking for. You click this button and then it pulls up all these different available fields. So if you're ever trying to do a particular search for something, um, you can add these fields to search by. You can see these are the ones that I've added. I could, like here's one, uh, HOA, yes or no. You know, that's a required field on the MLS and there's some people that just don't wanna be in an HOA. So I added that field to my search criteria so that I could, I could use that. If I wanna get rid of it for some reason, I can remove it. Um, but typically once you've added them, it's not like it bothers you that much. It's way at the bottom of your screen. Uh, let's just see here. Uh, is there a bedroom on the main floor? Or, uh, this might be a number of bedrooms on the main, main floor criteria. Uh, cumulative days on market. That's actually a good one that I should probably have. In fact, I'm gonna add that right now. And that's it. I've just added cumulative days on market as a criteria. So I'm actually going to use that one for this search just to see how different it is, you know, because the interesting thing is if you just do days on market, that's just this time around. If it has been listed over and over again, you might say, let's take a look at everything that's 120 days or more cumulative days on the market. Um, the only reason you might not want to do that is if it's just been relisted, they may not be ready for a low offer, but, uh, you know, you can use that criteria if you'd like. Um, Let's see, what else did I do here? Oh, 120 days or more cumulative days on the market. Um, this is all of Cuyahoga County, single families. Oh, the other criteria, the other important one, I added occupant type. That was from that add remove fields. And I wanna only see vacant homes that are 120 days or more cumulative on the market. These are homes that people have moved out of and for whatever reason are vacant and they've been on the market a while. Uh, obviously, the 138 matches in Cuyahoga County, uh, we want to narrow that down a lot. Otherwise, that's a lot of houses to, to go through. And that's where I would probably go through these cities and decide which cities the client or I am really interested in. So, you know, like if we knew they weren't buying in these neighborhoods of Cleveland, for example, No, Cuyahoga Heights, Newburgh Heights, let's say. 
not got it down to 121. So we would probably need to narrow this down some more to really get the search down to where we want it. Uh, but then you just do the same thing, results, save, and save it for yourself. Um, one quick thing I want to do here, I know I've got mine narrowed down even more. I want to see what criteria I might be missing. And this will also show you how I adjust a search uh, once I've put it in, if you've never gone in and made changes to a search. So I'm going, I'm searching for myself again. There I am. I'm going to go into my auto emails, 120 days or more on the market. Here's where I can go into the criteria of that search, and now I can see exactly what I've done. Okay, I, one thing I do is I don't look at coming soons. I'm looking at singles or condos. Cuyahoga County, and then I have actually, in my search, I've chosen certain cities that I'm interested in. So these are all the cities that I would be interested in. You know, I've set this up for myself. Two or more bedrooms is a criteria that I used. Uh, let's see what else I used. Okay, I think by selecting only certain cities, I really got it down quite a bit. Ah, the other field I used is price per square foot. So, you know, we know that typically if the price per foot is too high, then the house is probably way overpriced and, you know, there's not a great chance of being able to make an offer that'll be accepted. Um, I've got a price per foot of $100 or less. To me, basically, if it's priced over $100 a foot in the areas I'm looking, it's probably too high for even what some would consider a low ball offer. I might bump this up a little bit to 110 a foot or less, just to show you what it looks like when you make a change. So for example, there's 28 matches, 100 square feet or less. If I bump this up to give me some more options, it goes up to 33. And then all I do is hit save. It's gonna ask you, you know, do you wanna make any other changes? So this is my search, 120 days or more on the market, vacant houses. And then the default message is, I have revised your criteria for finding properties on the market. Let me know if you have any questions. And even better, if you were sending this to a client, would be, you know, call me for showings. You know, you want to make sure that they're not going on Zillow or something and then, and then contacting the list agent directly. You want to make sure that there's a call to action here. Call me if you want to see any of these. Here's the quick summary. The search is enabled. It goes out every morning and I hit save, and now I've got 33 instead of 28 matches in my vacant 120 days on the market search. So those are three great searches you can set up. I would recommend that you guys set these up for yourselves or for your investor clients.